So our education sector is facing challenges. And in this segment, we have Mr. Leighton Johnson, uh, the new president of the Jamaica Teachers Association. And he will discuss the decline of specialist teachers and its potential impact on the upcoming uh, school term. Education, of course, is the cornerstone of progress. And uh, uh, Mr. President uh, will shed some light on an issue that needs attention. Good morning, sir. Welcome to Smile Jamaica. How are you, sir? Good morning, Neville. Morning, Gas. I am well. Thanks for having me. It's our pleasure, sir. Congratulations. You're now the, uh, the, right. the new president of the Teachers Association. Um, and you guys kind of seem to be in hot water with some people kind of all the time. Hopefully you will correct, uh, you hopefully will correct all of that. Before we get- It's just the nature of what we do. Yeah, before we get specific, sir, um, what will you bring to the table as the new president? The fact is Jamaica, Jamaica's education sector needs attention and the Jamaica Teachers Association represents approximately 25,000 teachers. We have a voice. We are the technical individuals who know how to educate children. We believe that we should be consulted on matters pertaining to policy. It is in that vein that we want to ensure that the Jamaica Teachers Association is once again seen as that formidable force that informs policy that informs how education ought to be viewed and ensure that as much as possible the development of education in our country is on that path so that our country can realize its vision this is what we do in the jamaica teachers association yeah you said twenty five thousand. let me give you a double barrel question right up do we have enough mm -hmm. um right across the board for all the schools that you deal with and when you say a specialist teacher, what exactly does that mean? Who is a specialist teacher? So double barrel question. The first one, do you have enough? Um, of course, there is, uh, there is currently a significant teacher shortage right across the globe. And therefore recruiters from other jurisdictions are within the Caribbean and in Jamaica and our teachers are gravitating to the opportunity for are uh, practicing their, their, their trade in other jurisdictions. So there is a teacher shortage at this time. What we see nonetheless is a specialist teacher is one who specializes in a particular discipline. And this is usually in the technical and the vocational areas. Um, there is a thrust and a focus on STEM education at this time. And currently those teachers, the mechanical engineering teachers, the the building technology woods, the construction teachers, the teachers of plumbing, those teachers are in serious short demand in our, in our country. And those are the teachers that we are, you know, losing a whole lot of at this time. Not just migration, but these individuals have chosen to go into their own private practice because it is more viable that way than remaining in the classroom. Two things jumped out at me, uh, Mr. Johnson. Just now, you mentioned that there's globally a teacher shortage um, and also that has filtered down into, into our situation here in Jamaica. What's, what's the global cause? What, what, what are you hearing? The fact is, um, currently, after COVID, there were several teachers who decided not to go back in, in, into the classroom. And globally, the context remains the same. The same challenges that our teachers face here in Jamaica are the same challenges that teachers face uh, on the global stage. Teachers have, you know, have had enough. Teachers are complaining about poor remuneration. Teachers are just choosing to do other things at this time that can provide a viable living for them. Yeah, and are we noticing, for example, a, a lower rate of enrollment in teachers' colleges? Is it that we are having less, less uh, oh, teachers yes. being trained? Oh, yes. And, and, that, and what's behind that's that? That's a significant um, situation. Teachers' colleges right across Jamaica uh, complain that they are undersubscribed. And it is simply because teaching is not as attractive as many of the other careers that um that our young people have to choose from 
and what we need to do at this time. We need to have a more deliberate and robust national campaign to ensure that we get our, our active young people, those who have agile minds, young people who can inspire change to attend the teacher's college. And I believe one of the most significant features that can assist us in doing this is improving the compensation package for teachers. This is the main issue why one, teachers are leaving, and two, why it is not attracting individuals to come into this sector. With all of that said then, let's, let's talk solutions because potentially we have a problem on our hands with a reduction in the number of specialist teachers. We could have uh, some deep concerns going through this academic year and future. So right. the, how the do we address it? Is, the fact is um, the shortage of specialist teachers is not, it's not a new phenomenon. Schools mm -hmm. have been grappling with this okay. for some time. What we have seen... All right, so obviously we lost uh, the president. Hopefully Sorry. we'll get him back. Are you, uh, are you Good, back? I'm back. Okay. Yes, sir. Here near again. Go ahead, sir. What we have seen creative administrators do is the whole matter of teacher sharing. They identify the specialist area that they have a teacher available in their school. And the schools within close proximities, they are able to share that teacher, meaning the teacher is timetabled on two campuses within two schools. Mm -hmm. The difficulty with this is that we cannot offer the, the, the subject or the course to the wide gamut of students that would want to do the course because the teachers are in short demand. Uh, two, what we can do is we can uh, employ some specialists uh, on a part-time basis. They, they, there are those individuals who have, who have established themselves in the various industries. We can engage these individuals on a part-time basis part-time basis, but this too has its limitations on the basis that individuals are not readily willing to leave their practice to come and teach simply because of the, the remuneration package. They earn significantly more in the field than if they were to come in the classroom. Additionally, I noticed that there is a campaign on both uh, providing scholarships um, for students in STEM education at the VDTI. We need to expand this some more to offer this to the teachers' colleges that um, offer the industrial techniques and specialist areas. We need more students to be gravitating towards these scholarships. We need to make it more accessible to them. We need that robust national campaign so that students can know that this is a viable option. And Neville Garth, the bottom line is, if we increase compensation, then more persons would be willing to gravitate towards teaching at this time. Um, piggybacking on Garth, Garth's question, sir, so it is realistic to think that subjects may have to be dropped um, because of lack of teachers in those subject areas? Neville, the fact is, this is not a new phenomenon and schools have started to rationalize their courses already. Schools have been without uh, an electrical installation teacher for the better part of three years. Um, if you don't have a teacher, you cannot offer this subject. And no matter how much we can depend on technology, YouTube videos, um, teaching uh, in the blended modality, these disciplines are technical disciplines that require hands-on training, that require practicals for students to be engaged in. And if we simply do not have those individuals to be in the classroom with the students, then schools will have to, you know, remove these subjects from their curriculum. Uh, Mr. Johnson, you, you made mention of, for example, teacher sharing uh, and some other solutions uh, that are currently being, uh, being used by schools. But 
well, the new school term is just around the corner. Are there any other short-term solutions? Because long-term, we're talking about the compensation packages and so on to make teaching more attractive. But what else can be done in this very short period to alleviate some of those problems? It is what it is. We are currently in this situation. Schools just have to intensify their collaboration with each other to make the, the limited uh, solutions at this point um, work. The fact is there, are, there is just a shortage of these particular um, educators to be in our classrooms. And what I would ask or suggest is that for those specialists who have their private practices, those teachers or individuals, not necessarily teachers, but persons who are skilled and experts in their field, we ask that you, once you are approached by a school to come in and assist, you make yourself available, though it is not as viable for you coming into the classroom at this time we believe we have a nation to save and of course we want to be in the position to create students who can fill the market who are skilled in the various areas to to take up job offerings that will become available and are available at this time um congrats again sir and i pray that your tenure um will be a wonderful one and uh, you will solve all the problems. Take care. God bless you, sir. Mm. Thank you so much, Neville. Thank you, Garth. All the best. President of the Jamaica Teachers Association, uh, Mr. Leighton Johnson. Up next, uh, Jenica talks about fighting her uphill battle with grace. Sumkop, stay with us.